Hello everybody, my name is Arcana and today we will be talking about a situation which is appearing on Twitter. If you have not seen episode 6 of Oshinoko or Oshinoko in general, then I believe that you should watch that in order to get a better picture of what I'm speaking about. A bit of a spoiler right now, but I'm also going to be talking about the Hanukkah story, so if you've not seen anything about that either, then I believe you should watch a video on that in order to understand what is going on. Episode 6 of Oshinoko follows Akana Kurokawa in which she's on a reality TV show and she is trying to be seen more. The agency and her manager both realize that she has not had more than 10 minutes of screen time in the entire season and that is not really going boding well for her because other idols want that position akane does not want to disappoint and so doing so she tries to do everything that she can to stand out and also doing this she ends up messing with the most popular girl on the tv show and due to the way the cameras film everything and the fact that they make up off camera because they immediately cut it makes it seem as if akane tried to harm this girl who is a model which means that her looks and how she appears is very important to her job on purpose and out of spite. Because of this, people online begin cyberbullying her and her mental and physical state soon begin to drain. People start making up rumors about her to make her seem like she's worse of a person than she is. And eventually it comes down to the point where Akane feels like she needs to kill herself. The main character of the franchise, Aqua Hoshino, ends up saving her and the episode cuts off. And after that, we see a disclaimer about the National Suicide Prevention. And if you want to, you can call them so that you know that you're not alone. And honestly, I am very happy that they decided to do that. Well, then where does Hanakimura come in? Hanakimura was a professional wrestler who worked with stardom and was very young but very successful, in which after a bit she appeared on a reality TV show which aired on Netflix and was owned by Fuji TV. In the reality TV show, I'm not the best person to talk about this, however, from what I can understand, there was a situation where her costume was being washed and she was very, very upset about this. As in a thousand dollar costume, meaning it's not cheap and it got messed up. The colors got messed up. And while she was upset, the producers wanted to air up and bring up various forms of drama. And if they were going to produce drama, one of the things they thought they could do is get Hana to act out and get extremely upset and seem almost aggressive and berateful of the person who she had as a love interest on the show. Since this happens and people only saw what happened and not the context or anything like that or the fact that she had a panic attack after nothing was like that was aired they only saw hana in a disgusting light and people decided to cyber bully her over a reality tv show which if you are not smart and you haven't figured it out yet is fake because reality tv is fake over time however the cyber bullying got worse and worse and worse and even worse until there was a point where hana felt like she couldn't take it anymore Sadly, on May 23rd of 2020, Hana Kimura took her life. I wanted to bring up this situation because what is happening on Twitter is absolutely horrendous and everybody who is participating in this should feel like fucking shit because you are fucking shit. Hana Kimura's mother ended up in a position where it seems as if she was harassed about the episode solely because many people and a fan translator said that this was absolutely based on the story of Hanukkah Murr. With that being said, you can only imagine how many people would be showing this episode, how the episode blows up because Oshinoko is a very popular anime and has just blown up in general in anime circle and in general have not let her live down the situation which has happened which she will never be able to fully live it down and be able to have a fully just understandable position on it because she lost a child which that is absolutely painful and it's not something i have experienced because i'm not a father but you could only imagine imagine the pain of losing your best friend or your mother whatever else amplified because usually a child should bury a parent and not the other way around the point i'm trying to make however is that many people have been harassing her cyberbullying, and being absolutely disgusted because the mom is mad about the episode and to those people i ask you have you seen oshinoko have you seen the subject matter about the show why are you committing to what the show in this very episode said don't do they're saying don't cyber bully don't make fun of people don't ridicule don't do that in such a horrendous way criticism is one thing but when you are literally being aggressive and berateful and such like that what the fuck are you doing that's not something you should be doing and the people who are on the basic onk side or on the mom side you are fine if you don't want the episode to be taken down and you really hope the episode just stays because honestly it's something we should talk about i respect that i don't want the episode to disappear 
And if you are someone who's on the mom's side and understand that it makes sense for her to be angry about this, once again, I understand and I agree with that too. Two things can be true at the same time. The mom has every right to be angry, upset, hateful that this episode is airing and people are putting it on Hana and she has to bring back and relive the entire thing of what happened. And people can also say that this is a very important subject matter and it should be talked about more. But the people who are cyber bullying her and being disrespectful to her and acting like she doesn't have a right to have emotions about a situation which really happened to her as a real mother with a real daughter who lost her child because a real TV show and a real company caused the situation in which she was cyber bullied over and over and over again until she felt like she couldn't live anymore the fuck is wrong with you especially when you're the same people who are upset at the fictional people inside of this fictional franchise and this fictional anime and fictional manga who are making fun of a fictional character which is akane and saying how could you do that how could you be like that you're saying this and you're doing the same exact thing as if you did not learn from this situation and many of you people have looked at the hana kimura situation and yet you have the audacity to continue on the thing that killed her. And I want you guys to understand, Hana Kimura is very young. She should have been 25 going on 26 this year. She was 22 at the time she passed away. And she had many, and I mean many, accolades to her name. She worked in stardom. And if you guys don't realize something, I just want you to know that there are plenty, and I mean plenty of wrestlers, who even if she lived to 25, are either her age or would be older than she is at the current moment. Ariha would have been the same age. She's 25. Hikaru Shida is 34. So older. Jamie Hayter. 28. Older. Britt Baker. 32. Older. Amy Sakura. 46. Older. Thunder Rosa. 36. Older. Serena Deeb. 36. Older. I could continue to go on with people like Bianca Belair. 34 I believe. And then Jade Cargill who's 30. And then I could also take it back and go to people as old as Chris Jericho is 52. You get the point of what I mean. And there's plenty of amazing women talent out there. And she could have been someone up there, especially with all she's done and won at such a young age. And that life is taken from us. That life is not here with us right now. That person of who she could be no longer will be. We don't live in Marvel. We can't just go to Universe 1999 and snatch her out and go, hey, we got Hana. We can't do that. This is real life. A person's gone. They're gone. And even if you believe in the afterlife, the afterlife is not the earth. They are not here in this physical world. They're gone. So for someone to know this and realize this and realize a mother has buried her child, a mother who lost a child before the child would even be able to run for president child who couldn't even run for house of representative or senator in the united states that young you know she lost someone who at the time had just been one year older than what could drink in the united states do you realize how young this person is at 21 if you get out straight out of high school and you go to college to get a degree you have a bachelor's if she was trying to get a doctorate or a master she wouldn't even have it in the best scenarios with how old she was she's extremely young she was extremely young and she still would be if she was here today and she's not here and you guys are making fun of ridiculing being absolutely disrespectful to the mother of this person who is absolutely hurt because a popular anime which is fake by the way once again is showing off a similar situation and you guys which are taking a person's random fan translation and saying that oh yeah it's absolutely based on this ran with this it disrespected this woman because she doesn't like that the episode is showing this off and she's angry you should do better you should not be making fun of her you should not be ridiculing her she has every right to get angry you have every right to get angry at a piece of media that's the point of media for you to feel understand talk and explain and understand certain situations and such like that a lot of media wants to tell a message of some fucking kind even if it is escapism whether the escapism could be you are strong enough to do this or you can do this if you try hard enough every media bit in escapism has that thing it's supposed to make you feel or make you think or both the funny little comedy anime or manga or tv show or movie makes you feel as well 
you're supposed to laugh at it. Sometimes it's so bad that you hate it, but you're supposed to feel. She has every right to feel a way about this episode. And you don't have any right to tell that she doesn't. You have a right to feel about this episode. You might love it. You might hate it. You have a right to feel that way. So why does she not have that right to feel that way? Especially when the situation of what happened to Akane is so close to what happened and felt like it happened to Hana. Disgusting. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. You all should feel fucking ashamed. I can't believe that even in 2023, you bitches are so chronically online that you have this urge to be pieces of shit to real people and not understand basic empathy if you have gone that fucking far go find a psychiatrist go find a psychologist go find a therapist go find a neurologist figure out what the hell is wrong with you and if you can't fucking fix it go sign yourself up for the fucking psych ward because you don't need to be here if you have that little empathy inside of you. Humanity has only existed because of empathy. Whether you want to do it from religion or you want to do the evolution route of fucking empathy and say we evolved our empathy so that we could live. Humans are supposed to have some monicum of empathy. And if you don't fucking have that, then you are detriment. And I'm not cyberbullying when I say this. I'm not being a ridicule or a hypocrite when I'm saying this. Directly telling you. Do fucking better. Just do fucking better. Fucking disgusting. That's what this shit is. Fucking disgusting. I can't believe you fuckers. With that being said, I will try and link a video about the Hana Kimura situation in the description. You can go watch Oshinoko, I'm sure, on Crunchyroll. Or you could pirate it, I fucking guess. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't listen. Look, I'm not encouraging it, but hey, go watch it however. I know shit's expensive nowadays. And honestly... Today, I say you should show some empathy. You should learn empathy. You should learn about the Hanukkah Maria situation. You should try and get into professional wrestling. It's actually pretty cool. And uh, stop cyberbullying completely. Please get a therapist if you have the opportunity to. Find out what it is that you can do to help against the cyberbullying epidemic. Learn more about empathy. Learn more about cyberbullying in general and bullying in general. Learn more about psychology today and look at Oshinoko and read Oshinoko. That's all I could ask beyond the obvious of leave this lady alone. She's going through immense pain and she doesn't need random idiots online who can't show any empathy that, oh, I'm just going to bother her. She doesn't need that shit. She needs time to rest, relax, and truly exist because she's living a hard fucking existence now. Like I said earlier, a mom is not normally supposed to bury her child. A child is normally supposed to bury her mother. I don't even know how to end this video. What I'm gonna do is, because I know this is a heavy topic, I'm gonna also upload another video. I'm just gonna call it a day, so.